Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome to another video. This is going to be something a little bit different. I've now been doing some audio stuff, but recently I've been getting into some retro games and I had the Raspberry Pi lying around and I wanted to kind of mess about with it and see what I can come up with. So in this video, I'm just going to show you my portable Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to show you some gaming on this. I'll go over what this is and uh, we'll just get on to some gaming uh, gameplay videos and I'll show you that. This whole kit over here, as you can see, there is there's no need for soldering or whatsoever and it consists of three parts so you have the raspberry pi so on the front here you've got an hdmi 3.5 inch 1080p ips and display or at least that's what they call it but it's not actually 1080p um now this display just connects on to the raspberry pi as you can see it just uh clicks in there and then you just put the hdmi connector thing in which it comes with now this shielding kind of thing around this uh, acrylic it also comes with that so the display comes with all of this you don't need to worry about that and then on the back over here is the third part and um this is basically the uh, i don't know if you're going to be able to read this but uh yeah i'm pretty sure you're not gonna boy right over here it says uh r pi power pack version 1.2 so this is the raspberry pi power pack and um, the one i have has a 4000 milliamp power battery on it and it looks like a big battery um, and I don't know how long it lasts because it doesn't tell you the battery level um, but let's go ahead and uh, I've got this keyboard here which I got this plugged in and I was setting it up um, now we've got this audio cable which uh, I can go ahead and put in here uh, to get you some audio out of this and let's go ahead and turn it on so it has a switch over here and uh, it turns on and then um, it should come up with uh, something so there we go I've actually got this set up now there is a problem with the um, power thing on jig because this power pack it doesn't uh, output enough power for both of them so it's got two USB ports one is for the Raspberry Pi and the other one is for the display but the thing is this display actually takes power also from the Raspberry Pi itself so that kind of makes it a bit, a bit of an annoying thing to use because um, it takes power from all sorts of places um, now because this is a HDMI display there is um, if I go on to the options over here you've got you know uh, it's basically like a TV or a monitor um, you've got your um, options but the thing is um, even the volume of here is actually, it's actually got an amplifier on it as well um, the problem is um, none of those actually make a difference because I don't know for some reason they just don't work um, uh, well the volume doesn't work but turning the brightness down and all that it only changes how the color space thingamajig looks it doesn't actually turn the physical brightness down of the um, display so uh, let's go ahead and turn on our favorite speaker um, now it is touchscreen but because I haven't got the drivers installed for it um, I'm not going to be using touchscreen but pretty sure we're not going to be using any of those anyway so um, I'm going to plug in a controller a wired one I know the power is already a bit of a problem but uh, we got an NES contro SNES controller I mean um, let's go ahead and zoom in over here so you can actually see this now I'm just going to go into RetroPie and I'm, uh, I've actually got the settings on this configured for this display because I did it all manually and it looks much better than you know if, if you're putting it out as a 1080p display because look at all this you can read that perfectly fine if i go into raspberry pi config i'm gonna need a keyboard for this so i'm just gonna plug in the uh, usb thing which you go here and with that i've got like this tiny keyboard which i had lying around i thought yeah I might as well just use this So I'm just gonna like force that out of the um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then we can uh, get into some gaming over here. I'll just show you some games. Let's play some Metal Slug Advanced game. Um, I'm actually gonna show you how to set up this display as well because there's no option for that. Um, power's gonna be a bit of a problem in it, but seems to be running fine.
anyways let's go back on to a different game so um now this emulator actually changes the resolution of um the output for the game so it kind of turned into like a little bordered window i haven't been able to change the settings in the emulator because I've, apparently i've just lost some um, rights and all that so it, it says permission denied anyways so it's uh, lagging a bit because of the power And I'm gonna get copyright for this, I'm definitely gonna agree with that. What the flip? Oh, so yeah, as you can see, it's slowing down a bit. Oh, this is flipping, flipping that one. I haven't played this game. I have to say, this is the best one in the series. Now you're not gonna have problems running these games with um, if power isn't a problem. The graphics are much different actually. Same shit from the other games. Flip! Jesus. Forget this game. Uh, I wanna show you some PSP running on this because uh surprisingly this thing can actually run some psp games but not perfectly fine um it can run little big planet just fine i guess i'll go ahead and show you that and it can run castlevania um perfectly fine as well it can't run the really intensive games well obviously obviously it's got the power issue right now so it's not going to be able to run them properly but i have to say they look really really good on this display after you've got this configured I guess it's, um, I'll just go ahead and skip this forward. On Little Big Planet, you become a delightful little sack person. This is you. Alright, I guess there's like no really point. Uh, you can actually play Final Fantasy remakes on this. That was really, really good. And you can also play Castlevania Dracula X uh, just fine. If, as long as the power isn't a problem. And then Crisis Core is not going to run um, because you just can't cope, uh, keep up with it. Now... Go ahead and press the star button, I'll go ahead and show you the... So you're gonna have to quit the emulation and then it's gonna bring you to this display. So what you wanna do is plug in a keyboard, I'll just show you that. So here's the keyboard, I'm gonna plug it in. And what you wanna write is... Alright, what you wanna write is um sudo nano slash home oh wait hang on it's boot slash config config.txt so we're gonna go into that and i'll just show you what i've done over here So I put HDMI underscore CVT equals 4AE space 320 space 60 space 3. I'm sure you can read that. I'll probably leave this in the description. Um, the HDMI group is set to 2 and the HDMI mode is set to 87. And that's basically it. Um, so basically this means it's going to output as a custom image uh, given the resolution and the refresh rate and um, stuff like that. And this is what you get. It fits perfectly onto the display over here now what i'm gonna do is shut down now oops um because i'm gonna end this video uh what i want to do is 
I want to go ahead and install Raspberry Raspbian on it and uh, I'll actually turn this into a tiny computer which is cool so after it's turned off we can go ahead and switch it off and it's gone so it's a really nice little thing to use um, I don't like the power pack though because number one it doesn't tell you the battery life and then number two um, it doesn't actually able, it's not actually able to power this display and I'm guessing that's because um, this also shares the power with the Raspberry Pi itself so if there's a way to just get the maximum out of the uh, Raspberry Pi input then there might be a, a way to actually get this set up to be used with um, the display without the power being an issue and I'm also sure you can actually change the battery uh, because it's simply plugged in with a um, GST connector or something um, you can get a bigger one, I guess, if you want. Anyways, um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll leave links in the description if you want to buy all the parts. Um, and I'll see you guys in another video.